Hello everybody, Jose Rodriguez here. Normally I always like to talk about happy things when it comes to printing and what do us, our community is more interested in when it comes to printing, the ability to be able to refill your cartridges on your printer or to have some sort of other option available rather than use OEM ink, which is expensive, of course, is the best ink available. If you're doing this as a business, there's no issue. You buy yourself a good photographic pro-level printer and you pay for the inks because you're selling your products and you want to provide your customers with the best available products. But let's talk about Epson, all of the new photo printers, the ones that are officially photo grade printers are locked against the use of third-party inks here in North America. So, unless you live in Europe, who has apparently different laws and allows or prevents Epson from locking their printers, that gives you Europeans the freedom to choose from probably made in China, refillable systems, and of course, companies that are producing inks for these printers. I'm not saying it's gonna give you the same exact results that you get from OEM, but at least you have an option to print. If you're doing it just for fun, then it's a lot more affordable. But here in the USA, no way. I don't see anything coming out of Epson being able to be refilled in any way, shape, or form. So what do we have to choose from? Well, we can choose Canon. And I have a really bad feeling that at some point in the next several years, this is depressing, I know. They will do something to those cartridges that at this point in time, we can refill or find ways to refill them, such as the Pro 1000, a simple plug and disabling the chips. Are we gonna be able to do that in the future? Maybe, maybe not. What I hope happens is that both companies realize that there are two basic groups those who print for fun and those who print for money and so both companies produce so-called pro-level photographic printers with a multitude of inks i mean we're talking nine plus up to 12 as as the pro 1000 and that series provides you the Epson uh, Sure Color Series provides you with 10 cartridges, now 10 colors. Um, Canon is 11 colors plus gloss or chroma optimizer. So you see what I mean, but what other options do we have to be able to print low cost, meaning that the, the OEM inks that we buy are not going to break the bank? Well, 8550s, 8500 all of these so-called EcoTank printers, and hopefully, God, I pray that a 17-inch version will come out, and I will snap that up because there's really no reason to not do so. You will be able to use OEM inks at a very low cost, and if you so wish, you can use the third-party inks, which will then basically cost you about six, eight dollars per load per bottle. And we're talking 70 milliliters of ink per bottle. So other than that, we really have no other options. So I am worried to death that the businesses that we currently know about and utilize in a matter of years, um, what are they going to have to offer us? Think about that. Okay? Yes, the EcoTank printers here in the U.S., we can afford to print with OEM inks. And because there's no chips involved, we can actually, if we wish to, purchase lower cost third-party equivalents and use them instead. At the point that we are at now, because of the low cost of OEM products for those printers, I really don't recommend you do that. I mean, I'm still on my second set of inks. I've had this for almost a year now. And I'm only at, you know, maybe uh, two-thirds down, or no, two-thirds up still uh, with my second set of inks. 
So we really have to think hard as to where where are we going to be when the you know what hits the fan because at some point I have a bad feeling that the third party ink market is just going to diminish a lot of companies that I used to shop from back in the early 2000s when this whole craze began um have disappeared out of the blue and there was one particular one that actually did a lot of uh, extra work to make sure their inks were as close to OEM and match as they could possibly get. And those were in the days of the R1900. We, of course, replaced that with the R2000 and now the R400. And so, yeah, companies like that just disappeared because the minute that chips became available, well, forced on us, and resetting real hassle for most people and you could no longer uh, refill an Epson cartridge uh, because of the way that they were constructed we had to rely on the less reliable uh, Chinese products the refillable cartridges yes they work but you had to keep them perfectly primed so that you would not lose your ink flow at any time during your you know regular printing schedule but yeah I mean those companies disappeared Another one that I remember very closely, inkjetcartsus.us. They, they just poof. And they had a huge company. It just totally disappeared. Right now we have Ink Owl. We have, I think, Ink Products. And um, what else? What else do we have besides Precision Colors? And, you know, if you think Precision Colors and some of the other companies are going to last forever, no, they're not. No, they are not. The minute that the third-party inks for, for instance, Epson printers become irrelevant and only available for some of the older printers that were never locked to begin with, unless those people, you know, are buying enough products to feed those older printers, we're not talking the new ones, yeah, they're going to go away. They're just going to go away and... Wow, I, 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 I'm thinking, am I going to be doing this for the next several years? If the trend that I feel is coming, you know, becomes true, this is going to be it for me as well. At least I will have this huge uh, load of videos up. I'll have to come up with some other um, genre of uh, type of videos to produce because I'm not going to stop producing it's just that I, I may have to change what I am producing for. It will be more on the photographic side of things because we may end up only printing. Okay, we can still print with those printers back there and the XP15000, but eventually those printers will become unavailable. I don't know what Epson is going to do or has up their sleeve as far as Ecotank. They're trying to separate the group, the professional group, and the amateurish group, which I think is a bad term to use because that printer can produce very, very professional looking results as well as the XP15000. And that's one of the last ones that we can use a chipless firmware on. So again, it allows us to refill those cartridges, OEM ones without any worries. Um, Canon, of course, Pro 200, no resetter, Pro 300, no resetter. You have to use other methods to be able to allow you to continue to refill those cartridges. I'm not saying that you cannot refill them. I'm just saying that now there's no way for you to even know what your ink levels are. And it's dangerous when you're working with a cartridge that only has a minimum amount of ink, like 13, 14 milliliters of ink, instead of one of these, which holds 80. And the larger printers, they hold three something and 700 ml. So... Yeah, what are we going to do? That's my question. Well, two options. You stop or you use OEM. Actually, three options, sorry. You stop, you use OEM, or you stick with some of those printers that allow you to continue to use the products that you want to use, not the products that they are forcing you to use. Yes. So I am going to have some news coming up in the future about the 
so-called future of some of these companies uh, so I start talking with them because uh, you know like I said as long as people are ordering you know materials for the ancient printers if they still work there's not going to be anything new there's not going to be anything new for you to order the biggest pigment epson related company inkjetmall.com what do they have to offer for you only printers that are able to use third-party cartridges and you got to go back quite a number of years for that okay i think the pa100 was the last one although they did lock it we were able to defeat it and we have a chipless firmware for it and so i'm using that printer still but you would have to go back to much older type printers and do they work especially something that like a cartridge writing on the printhead type printer no those ink pads are going to be full uh, unless you know how to divert an epson waste delivery system outside and there is a wic code for it to be reset good you can continue but not so with a Canon printer. Once those pads become saturated, you send it to the landfill. And you begin again. If you can find another one, then you can continue having fun. But if you think you're going to buy a new one and are able to have the freedoms, in other words, inherit the freedoms that you're experiencing now, no, I hate to tell you, that's not going to be the case. It is very depressing for me at this point, but that's just the honest truth of what's happening in this field. It almost makes me want to move to Europe. But anyway, that's going to be it for now. Enough of that. I'm going to go have me a nice cup of coffee and uh, think about it. I'm going to be calling a couple of people tonight and see what their thoughts are on this subject. All right. Thank you again. Don't forget to subscribe, share. Don't forget to click on that notification little bell as well. And I want to say happy refilling. If you still can do it, make sure you do it correctly. And make sure it makes you happy. Makes me happy as well too. Bye-bye everyone.